okay, should you immediately throw out your tampons because of this study? I'm an OBGYN and I'm going to explain it to you without freaking you out. And at the very end, I'll tell you what I would do. So this study found that there were multiple kinds of metals found in 14 tampon brands that were tested, including things that might sound scary like arsenic and lead. These are the five things I want you to know. Number one, the average amount of lead was 120 nanograms per gram. But like, what does that mean? Full disclosure, I am not a mathematician, so if somebody else crunches these numbers differently, feel free to let me know. But I wanted to show you what it is compared to other things. So you see here that when it's converted all to the same units, the amount of lead that is found in tampons is 0.12 micrograms per liter. And what is considered safe and acceptable exposure is anything below these top two levels here. So for bottled water, that's five micrograms per liter and food products, half a microgram per liter. Why am I showing you this? I'm just trying to give you context in how much lead was found in these tampons. It's actually rather low, but should it still worry you? I'll get there. Okay, number two, yes, metals were found in organic tampons and some higher levels were found in organic tampons like arsenic. I'm just saying that so you don't think that automatically organic equals better. Number three, where did these metals come from? Could have been that they were in the soil where the plants like cotton grew, or yes, they could have been from added pesticides. And yes, they use pesticides in organic farming. But number four, not all metals are bad and some of these metals were specifically added to the tampons to act as antimicrobial. So that's a good thing. And number five, there was nothing in this study that could tell you how much of what was in the tampon was absorbed into your body. And they very readily admit that in the study that that's a limitation. So should you throw out all of your tampons right away because of this? If this worries you, you absolutely can. I personally wouldn't because these levels are very low, but I hear you if you say, well, there's no acceptable level for lead. I totally get that, but I do want you to understand that we are exposed to all of these metals to some degree in our daily lives. But I would love for us to get better studies on what is actually absorbed into our body, and I would love for these tampon companies to do a better job of screening and disclosing and self-testing their own products. What would you do?